Hello Leo, I'm Susie from the British Red Crown. I'm here to read your cards for the week of the 22nd of November to the 28th of November. So angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Leo, Leo, Leo to know? I keep seeing the Leo card, the strength card. What would you like Leo, there he is again, Leo to know about the week of the 22nd? Angel Spirit Guys, Leo. What would you like Leo to know about the week of the 22nd of November? Okay. There he is. He came out. But he came out upside down. Leo. Oh, but he's upright because he's the first two. No, he's in reverse. No, he's reverse. No, it's reverse. Okay. So, Leo, we have... Six of Swords with the Hangman. So there's a couple of cards in here that are exactly the same as, as um, Cancer's cards. Uh, it could be dealing with a Cancer. And you want to go to a more peaceful passage. You want to take some time out. You're untrapping yourself. You just want to go and you need some time out at the beginning of this week. Um, you're putting all your swords in a boat. You feel a bit overwhelmed. And... Uh, you're having to sacrifice something to untrap yourself from a, maybe a third party situation, from talking, keeping one person from finding out about the other, because you're trying to focus on a future where you can have these seeds bear fruit. So you're planting seeds, okay? So going away, getting out of a trap, getting out of a certain situation, you need peace. Um, and it's sort of spiritual peace. So, so you can have like, because the hammer has taken himself upside down, hasn't he? So that he can go into the underworld or go into the darkness for a little while so he can get out of... So you might go away, go into this darkness and it gets worse where you feel overwhelmed by a situation. But you're, you're like, this page is here to plant a seed. You want to plant seeds in the future. You're choosing, you're at a crossroads. So you're, you've got the wand... Once you get this message about this planting seeds of the future, maybe you get this message while you're feeling a little bit trapped, it gives you a, a scope to look at these four roads. So the magician needs to have strength of will to make one of them a success. Um, and you have the sun here, the absolute awakening. It's like a spiritual guidance as God comes in to say, look, Leo, here's your sun. You got the sun last week as well. It's you. It's you're the sun. Um, you're making choices. You're making choices based on um, the future, like two, ye two years, five years down the line. And um, it's almost like you're getting a God-given go-ahead to do it. Now, you do have the Ten of Cups upside down. You do have the Queen of Pentacles upside down and the King of Pentacles upside down. This could cause, this new decision on this road could cause a family upset. It could cause, maybe you have to go away for work, you know, you have to travel. And that upsets this Queen of Pentacles because she feels ungrounded. Um, she doesn't feel sensual, so that makes the King of Pentacles feel ungrounded. He feels angry that she doesn't feel good enough, um, and he doesn't have enough money. Um, and it's almost like one of... It's like you decide to stay somewhere to, it's like even if these people are ungrounded, they're unearthed, you're choosing a God-given path, you're choosing something spiritual because it's untrapping you from this mental overwhelm and it's for the future. So it might be initially upsetting people because there's lack of earth or lack of home, you might be not have a home, like, or it's lack of money, and you can't go off on this quest this week. But you're offered this spiritual truth, this knowledge, this truth and clarity, which you can you can focus on this. You can fight with this sword. You can guard yourself with this sword. You feel quite powerful, knowledgeable. You can get out of your confine. Um, that you swerve this tower because the tower is upside down, and you're the three of pentacles it could be like you, you lose a job or you get a new it's like you're starting from a clean 
area see this this clean slate it could be that you know with the king of coin the king of swords upside down the wheel of fortune upside down someone's not mentally someone could have depression mentally ill um it could be something illegal that's happened at work but what I, it's, it's, it's something see the tower's not crumbled because it's like you swerved it because you had this truth did you go away and when you go away you sacrifice something to put your troubles in the thing it's still overwhelming you you still feel trapped but you get this page of pentacles and they say look we're planting seeds of the future. I want something down the line. So you have to choose this other road. And you're, you've got a magic wand to do it. The sun is here saying, yes, do it. This is a Leo card. But it upsets the home. There's not enough. There's not, it's just unearthed. These people are unearthed through their money. This this Their ships didn't come in. Their ship's not coming in. But you do have truth here. So that means you can get out. You've got the strength to get out. I can see a lot about a house, a home, not getting a promotion, feeling a little, little bit unbalanced because the wheel's not, the time is not right yet. The time is not right yet because the wheel's upside down. And this might make you feel or it's, something's illegal. But you've got truth and you've got strength and you can go out and start building from a blank canvas but the time because the reason why this is this job's not happening or this relationship not happening is because the time's not right yet someone's family's upside down someone feels unnerved someone feels angry um that they can't that this thing didn't come in but there is a very much a spiritual essence here where you can make this a, a success for the future there's something being built for the future it's just now just not the time maybe something happened in the family someone might have lost a home um and but you're getting this truth you feel strong very very strong at the end of this week and it's like no i don't want to do that yet i, I, I think i'll swerve that job i don't need it because it's something illegal there i don't trust this thing um it could be someone in the military policeman lawyer um and it's unjust it's not, they're not telling the truth um someone's yeah it's just not the right time there's lots of unearthness but there's lots of huge leonine spiritual strength here and you're leo you're so on it angels this is complicated leo angels spirit cards universe what would you like leo to know for the week of the 22nd of november 22nd of november it's like you're choosing the spiritual path as opposed to the happy family path or the money path or the it's like it doesn't matter who I, I upset i need to have this freedom i need to have this strength and i need to have this truth i can't go to that job yet but at least we didn't the tower's upside down so it didn't come to it because you, you're strong enough it doesn't come to a, a a breakdown but the time is not right yet for any new beginning for you at the end of this week Leo, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Angel spirit, I think you got that last week. Angel spirit guides, Leo, 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 Leo. What would you like Leo to know? Angel spirit guides, universe, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Angel spirit guides, universe, Leo, for the 22nd to the 28th of November, please. For the 22nd of the 28th, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Maybe it is something illegal that you're addicted to at the end. Angel, spirit, guide, universe. And that's what breaks up this. You're going to have to try and untrap yourself from this addiction. Angel, spirit, guides. What would you like here to know? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Getting to know one another. As you review, re reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. It's not right time yet. And retreat. It's time to, for, to disconnect from the world. 
yeah it's just not the right time it's time to to go to a more peaceful time spiritually oversee it with that ego you might it's like you might have to go dark before the dawn because you're trying you you're at a crossroads but it's almost like the sun is saying come this way come on this is the way to go and you're like but that's going to upset the family that's going to upset like i won't feel grounded i won't be able to hold the fort i won't I'll feel angry and my ships aren't coming in i can't be with a group of people um but it's, it's because you're getting truth and you're getting out of your ego and you're getting out of this cot this cave and you don't need to go to back to work yet you don't need to go and listen to any lies yet you can't if something's illegal if it's codependent you need to free yourself from it so and it's not the time retreat because this is worth waiting for um it's it's uh god given the sun it's your element okay i hope i've helped you leo take care of yourself and speak to you please like share and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.